Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Show the Flow, episode number 21. My name is Ryan Wells, and today is Question and Answer Thursday. So just kind of wanted to let you know here, moving forward, we're going to kind of mix it up. I tried to stick with a theme every single day and just repeat that week after week. But, you know, if you know me, you know that routine is super boring for me, and I always like to change things up. But we're going to stick to it today because I'm just now letting you know that things are going to change. So our first question came from Facebook. This is a brand new realtor that we've never worked with before, and they wanted to know, do we do video other than with our toy hobby quadcopter? And so I just want to come on and say absolutely yes. In fact, uh, we think that video is the best way to go to show off a listing. You know, there are uh, people out there that do something called like a virtual tour that I, I believe was invented like in the early 90s, maybe er, maybe late 90s, somewhere around there. And it's basically a slideshow set to music and the photos kind of pan and zoom. Now, that's it's interesting to me because those photos are the same exact pictures that you can see on the on the listing. So what we've done is we've decided, you know what, forget the virtual tour. We're going to give an HD video experience of the listings. And so to answer your question on Facebook, absolutely yes. We do in full high definition a walkthrough video where you can actually see if it moves, it's going to move, right? Uh, you're going to see fans moving. Uh, we may even turn the water on in the master tub if it has jets. Uh, if there's you know a gas stove, we might light the burners and you'll see those. So uh, even one house, it had all these kind of like crazy, like lazy Susans inside of the cabinetry and we were spinning those and opening doors. If you watch it, it looks like there might be a ghost in the house, right? And so we do all of those kinds of things, really just a way to make your listings come to life. And we're always pushing the envelope. So to go a little bit further in answering that question, we have just placed an order for some new equipment. I'm not going to say what it is just yet, but it's going to take what we're doing to a whole new level. And it, we're not going to stop there. We're going to just keep growing and keep going. Uh, I'm super pumped. If you can't tell, like when I get on this subject, I get really excited. And so uh, thank you so much for that question and to answer it, absolutely yes. And the next question comes from somebody that I actually had just in conversation. They ask, what was the single best piece of advice that anybody's ever given me for business? Um, I love this question because I can actually take you to the place. I was in Dallas, Texas last October. That would have been October 2014. And I just gone through kind of this radical physical transformation. I think I'd lost like 40 or 50 pounds at that point. And I was riding from one hotel to another in Jesse Burnett's Mercedes. And Aaron was sitting right next to me. We were in the back seat. My buddy Trace was up in the front seat. Jesse was driving. And I asked Jesse, I said, hey man, what's the secret to your success? And here's the advice that he gave me because he said it's what he did. He said, I simply did this, Ryan. I went MIA. And I know that you've, you've heard me talk about this before, but it is. It's the single best piece of advice anyone's ever gave me to go MIA, uh, to take massive, immediate action. That's right. You know, there's this law called the law of diminishing intent. It's when you are inspired to do something and you really, you, you think that you're going to, you know, follow through. But over time, that intention will diminish if you don't take action immediately. So what, it, what this says is, don't just like take a little bit of action. Don't put it off for a while, but take massive action and do it immediately, right now. You've heard the saying, to strike while the iron is hot, right? Strike while the iron's hot. That's right. You know, think about a steak. Like they talk about serving the sizzle, not the steak, right? Why is that? Because nobody wants to eat a cold steak. And it's the same thing with you. When your inspiration is at its highest, that's the time you should take action because that's when your passion's at the highest. You'll be able to, uh, to, to grow a team if you're passionate. But if you look like a cold piece of steak, guess what? That's not very appetizing, is it? Remember, if you are inspired to do something, don't ponder because if you ponder, you're going to squander. Instead, take massive, immediate action. And I want to hear back from you. Let me know what it is that you're taking action on. Just comment right below the video. Look, we'll work together on this. Let's take your message to the world. Come on, you can do this. Look at me. Look at me. You can do this. So get out there and do it.
And once again, guys, it is Show the Flow, episode 21. This was Question and Answer Thursday. Tomorrow, I'm super pumped. We have a special guest for Feature Guest Friday. We'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.